Happy 2023. I'm so excited to see a new year. Um, I just love the new year. January is my birthday month, so I have that looking um, coming up and I'm looking forward to, as well as it's an opportunity to start something new, right? New goals, new ideas, new businesses, new everything. So I love the new year. It's a great time to refresh and restart um, everything in life. Today, I am going to be making something new. Of course, it's the new year. I'm going to be using Miss Mimi G's pattern 9450. Um, it's a cute sweatshirt and skirt set. Um, very casual, but I'm going to elevate mine a little bit by using a sweater material in this zebra print. So I'm excited about that. And here's my fabric. There's my fabric, my chair. Here's my fabric here. Love this zebra print. I'm gonna be doing the top and the bottom in this beautiful sweater material. This is gonna be great because this is gonna create two pieces. However, you can switch it up, um, pair the top with some black pants or a black skirt or jeans. And the skirt, the same thing. You can actually put on a new type of top, a turtleneck. Um, a crop top, whatever, you know, fancies your boat there. But yes, I'm going to start on this and I'm going to bring you along with me to make the outfit. So I have all of my fabric laid out ready for my pattern pieces. I have the fold um, right in front of me. That way it'll be easy to maneuver as I place my fabric um, and pattern pieces together. So I'm going to start with the top first because... That may be more the more difficult piece to do. So I'm going to use do the top first and get that out the way. And then I'll work on the skirt portion later. So I have all of my pieces for the top. I need my lower band piece, sleeve band, and my neck band. So all of my pieces I'm going to get out so I can start pinning them on accordingly. So I have all of my fabric out, my pattern pieces, and I am ready to go ahead and start pinning the fabric and the pattern together. Um, I do have my fabric with the fold close to me. So that makes for easy adjusting here and there. And I'm going to go ahead and pin this on. Um, I know pinning takes a minute, but with this fabric, it moves quite easily. It's a sweater material, and using those weights may make it move around too much for me. And like I said, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be doing the top first and then I'll work on the skirt later, maybe tomorrow or another day. But I want to get this top going. Like I um, said earlier, I would love to wear this with the skirt. Also, like with a cute pair of jeans, um, some nice trousers, like a basic black skirt, a little black wrap skirt. Or, you know, do some colors, too. You know, you can put pair this with a red skirt, something bright and fun. All right, so I got the front and the back done. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the neck band here. So I'm going to place that on a portion of my fabric. I'm trying to not waste too much fabric, so I'm just going to put it in where it fits in on the fabric here. Like get in where you fit in, okay? And in my head, I would wear this with some cute boots, maybe like a colorful boot or something. Um, you know, out to dinner or somewhere fun. All right, so I got the neckband on there. What's this? And I'm, it has two versions. You can do like um, a sleeve with the um, 
addition so it's like a sleeve here you can do a short sleeve and then have an addition here i'm just gonna do one long sleeve for my version next i'm going to pin on the sleeve band that's that little band right there at the wrist area okay so i'm continuing to pin on the top portion and i'll be ready to cut shortly here i just really love this fabric it is a nice medium weight sweater material um and if they had more of different colors and designs i would have gotten more because sweater material is very very hard to find and i am not a knitter so i have to buy my sweater material already miss it now i am ready to go ahead and start cutting my fabric and i'll be ready for sewing ready to cook okay I'm just cut it out i'm gonna make my notches so i have my back portion cut out yes i'm gonna love that that is gonna be like awesome here okay really do love this fabric so now I'm going to go ahead and cut my neck band out. After I cut, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my fabric by making my notches, any markings, small dots, large dots, um, and begin to get ready to sew. Yes. Let me go ahead and make these notches. So I'm going to sew this dart seam down. My pins out as I go. Back stitch, cut that. All right, so I have that dart sewn there. That's a little dart line. So now I'm ready to do the, do the next one. My pins on the wrong side here. I'm right handed, so I have to have. So from the right side, I have all my notches made there. So now I am ready to go ahead and place my sleeve on my front of the pattern. And I'll be ready to go. It's cute. It's going to be cute. So I'm going to be matching my notches up with the sleeve notch. Here. One here, so we gotta make sure it matches. And so that's the wrong sleeve. Let's see this one. Okay, this is gonna be the right sleeve. With raglan sleeves, you really gotta pay attention to those notches because you'll put it in wrong. And in order to Decrease the amount of mistakes you make while sewing. Always check everything two times just to make sure it's looking correct there. And I'm going to be surging this as well later. Um, once I sew it up, I'm going to have the sleeves on. And all I have to do now is the um, bottom band, neck band, and the sleeve bands. So it's coming along. Really love it. It feels great on. And I'll be back. All right. Now I'm going ahead and putting my sleeve band on. I have already added the neck band. So I'm just going to go ahead and surge that around here. It's important to surge or do a zigzag stitch when you're messing with this knit fabric the sweater knit fabric here so it won't have all that unraveling and what not so yeah i'm really loving the way this is coming out. so i have that sleeve band on good there a little sleeve band, love it. Um, just trying to see where that seam comes from. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, sew that down. That was my gathering seam. 
So I'm gonna sew that down with the five eighth seam allowance. Yes, I'm really loving this. And then I have my neck band. I just need to press everything down. So I'm loving the way this is looking so far. All right, so I have my sweatshirt portion done. I have my sleeve band on as well as the neckband and the waistband. So I am ready to start on the skirt, which I'll do later and I'll be sharing that as well. Hi there, so I'm back with my skirt portion. I completed my shirt or my sweatshirt yesterday. So now I am back with the skirt. I've already cut out and made my notches on the skirt so now i'm ready to pin it together so that i can start sewing it up so taking these pins out the skirt is three pieces you have the back on the fold and then you have your two side pieces your left front and your right front so now i am going to be putting those things together I like the way the top came out yesterday, so I'm excited about the skirt today. So I'm just taking these pins out, so I'm going to be matching those notches. So that's the back. Um, this is the left side, so I'm going to match that and pin that together. So I have enough pins in there. So now I'm gonna turn it and do the other side. This way, everything will be already um, pinned together and it won't interrupt me sewing. I'm gonna go back and pin later. So I can do everything now. So now I, am, I have everything pinned together and I am ready to sew it together. Just these two side um seams and then i can hem it and put on my waistband i'm excited about this because this is a quick thing to make here so that's the zebra two-piece set i love it um this is perfect for work or a day out or whatever you can dress it up dress it down um with different types of shoes, heels, sneakers, boots, whatever. So I really do love the way this came out and I can't wait to wear it some more. Um, coming up next on the Tracy Show, I am looking to do a mesh ruched top as well as a dress to go with it. Both of these things will be self-drafted, so I'm excited about it. And I hope you join me for that to find out more. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching The Tracy Show. And I will see you next time. Bye.